So at this point, you might be wondering, well, okay, what's the purpose of running log4j and IIB? W why would we do that? Well, remember that in IIB, you're going to have some node here. This might be some input node, and then you'll have another node here that's doing some sort of mapping or really the, the sort of the bulk of what you're trying to do. And then you're going to have some output node. Well, what happens is when these are strung together, what you have to ask yourself, well, what happens when something goes wrong? Like, where am I going to get information about what happened, what went bad? And you need to essentially log that. Well, IIB already comes with something, a special log, actually a node, a special logging sort of node called a trace node. So you could, like, literally put, drag, a trace node onto the canvas. And to do that, you would simply go to the construction palette, and then you'd find your trace node. And you can see if I hover over this, a trace node generates trace records that can incorporate text, message content, date and time information, and so on. So you can literally drag this over here and rearrange your line so it would go into and out of the trace node. But there are two problems with the trace node itself. First of all, it's not extendable to other targets. So wh what does that mean? Well, it means that if this is your trace node here, obviously, um, what you can't do, imagine that this M here is actually an eSQL node, right? If that's the case, then you can't use the tracing log for this and then also have some other, let's imagine that you have another node in here. Let's move, let's call this one the O node. And this is some sort of Java compute node here. So if this is the case, you can't have both of them write to this same log file here. And actually, even if there is a way to get that to work, which I don't know, but maybe there is, you can't have the logging itself be consistent across both of these nodes. And so this is the idea behind uh, log4j. You can have that, lo that log be sort of consistent between both targets, as they're called here. So that's the first major problem. But the second problem is there's no configurable log level, which we talked about quite a bit already, right? If you have an info level and you have a debug level and you want to show, say, you know, the debug level only while you're debugging, and you when you um, when you deploy that code out in an, an environment, a production environment, you don't want any debug level information being printed out. You can simply take out the debug level com um, uh, sort of inclusion statement and say, well, I only want to see info statements in a production environment. You can't do any of that. You can't do either of these two things with log4j's, um, with the trace node inside IIB. And instead, you need, once again, to use log4j, which can do that. And in practice, what would actually happen here is we have to draw this slightly different. And you're going to see this in practice uh, soon anyway. But you'd have to sort of redraw this to the point where you would have, say, your your, your eSQL would be here. And then you would, draw, uh, you would um, connect it into a new kind of node called a log4j node. And then you separately might have your Java down here. So maybe you're doing something like this. And then that also could be logged into this log4j or connected to a log4j node. And then you can, from here, then you know go back to your output node. And of course, this isn't the only way to draw this. You may clearly have some special uh, or different um, configuration. But all of this is made possible. That is to say, log4j as a node is made possible through something called IAM or inter-application messaging. And specifically, it's called IAM3. And without this, if you don't install this, then you're not going to even have the option to install this log4j node. You won't be listed in the program itself. And you can see that here, too. If I open up the toolkit and then I expand the construction palette, there is no node listed here that says log4j. So that's because we need to install it, and we'll do that in a separate video.